lounge in the sun. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name's Ryan, and today I'm going to be spotlighting one of my favorite indie creators, personal friend of mine, his Cosmic Lion Productions, and some of the work that he's produced. I did an interview with him. I'm talking about none other than Eli Schwab. He not only produces some of his own work, his own illustrations, his own titles, such as the one you see right here, which I'm going to flip through, but he also helps publish other people's projects, other stuff in the group of Cartoonist Cafe Ringside Seats, who you guys should also be familiar with. Tons of interviews from those guys on the channel, a lot coming up. Uh, so today I just wanted to spotlight some of his work, some of the stuff he's produced, including the fabled image grand design. Um, but first, before we get into that one, I just want to touch a little bit on some of you know Eli's own personal stuff, his own personal creation, uh, Monkey Lion, which is an absolute blast, dude. He kind of talks about it. You know, I think he kind of, if you check out the interview, he puts it in words better than I could describe, but I just want to flip through um, this one, some of his early work, and just, it's, it's fucking awesome to see, like, you know, how far he's come. You know, his art just continues to get better. Uh, I, you know, a lot of this stuff's out of print, but definitely hit up. I'm going to have all the links down below where you can pick up this stuff. Just fucking, I love it, dude. I love his fucking, his energy. It comes through in all of his work. Um, I don't want to fucking spoil too much more of it, but, I, and then, you know, don't want to forget. Definitely want to fucking shout out the fact that he does a bunch of dope podcasts himself. And the link will be down below for that. You know, he's going through all the Grendel books. He does, you know, Can I Thwip It with his with his boy Manus. Ben Granoff is with him on the Grendel. Ton ton of cool stuff there. Pick up Monkey Lion. Waiting for the next issue, Eli, if you see this, which I'm sure you will. Hurry up, get that out there. Um, another cool thing that he does, too, is he'll do a retrospective, and he personalizes it to each person that gets it. So that's why this one, you'll see Ryan's Cosmic Line Retrospective 2021, because, you know, this is when he did this. So whenever you get it, whether it's in this year or next year, he'll have a collection of his stuff from past, present. And, you know, what I really love is, and this is everything, every time you get something from him, dude, he's always personalizing it, you know, writing little notes and stuff. Gives you a brief rundown of, you know, the 16 years worth of content that he produces in here. You got, you know, a journal entry, you got some sketches. This is one that uh, Jim Mafu did of his uh, character that he created. If you know Eli, you know what an inspiration Mafu has been to him throughout his, you know, throughout his kind of, you know, career, his indie career, man, whether it's in inspiring with podcasting, you know, like the interviews he's done with him or his art, like Jim Mafu is a personal favorite of mine. Some something that you know Eli and I have bonded over ourselves, you know, and I love that you know we got the year every time you know we're he's showing what he did and like I said with Monkey Lion seeing the progression and just continuing to fucking hone his craft gets better and better. This one's from 2016. You can see the difference in in just a few years. Got this Ace in Space story again. I don't want to like. I don't want to ruin any of this for you guys. I want you guys to experience it yourself. But I love, personally, I really love this too. Huge, He's a huge Ninja Turtle fan. Again, something we bonded over. Uh, he's got Spawn up in here. Uh, just full of cool, dope pinups. He's a huge Frank Zappa fan. Of course, he has, has a story there. Got a Kevin and Eastman pinup with the original Ninja Turtle design. More Frank Zappa. You know, again, the Can I Thwip, but I mentioned that. That's one of theirs. Fat Man and Lion when he was, you know, trying to trying to get Kevin Smith's eyes on this stuff. Huge fun Kevin Smith fan. Again, like Eli and I just have so much in common, dude. And I think that's why I just become a huge, huge fan of him, at, you know, with his work. And then just, you know, our the friendship that has developed is is really been cool, man. He does the ween zine. Also, I don't have a copy of that, but this is he illustrated a speech. It says by Arrested Development Works by Speech. Um, not too familiar with this, but you know, he he did he illustrated to go along with this speech. I love the night he met Jaime Hernandez. This was a pretty dope uh little story about Marley. You know, just 
again, really dope. Definitely pick it up. Got a personal sketch in there with the ad for all the stuff he does. And this dude never sleeps, much like myself. Um, and, you know, like just constantly putting out dope content. This was one of the first things I got from him. Uh, you know, he found when, you know, we met through the shop that I work at. You know, that's his, that's his LCS. And we were, you know, talking about Ninja Turtles and stuff. So when he got this one uh, made up, he brought me a copy. This is, you know, Ninja Turtles, but Viking style. Full of really dope indie cartoonists. We got some really dope, it's all pinups. Really fucking awesome. If you, if you are into Ninja Turtles, to see them in this light and done by so many, so many different styles. We got a, you know, interview in here. Just really fucking dope stuff. I know they did another Ninja Turtle one before this, but it's long out of print. So it's kind of, you know, if you can get your hands on it somehow, I don't know how, but pick that up too. Another dope project. Constantly, you know, just doing all sorts of stuff. He doesn't pigeonhole himself into one type of one type of thing. Now this wizard, this is when the, you know, like the friendship fucking, this is, this is when fucking like, I really like got into the kayfabe ringside seats group. Got you know Eli added me into the group. He was talking about the kayfabe channel. Wasn't really like I knew of it. Didn't watch it yet. And you know he asked me. He's like, I know you know I was running my site. This is before the YouTube channel. I was you know strictly editing people's reviews and articles that they would put for the site, including my own. And so he asked me like, would you mind helping me edit? And I was like, yeah, dude, for sure. And I didn't even know what this was going to entail. This magazine is responsible for me discovering cartoonists, getting into the indie cartoonist scene, getting into the cartoon cartoonist kayfabe group and all that stuff. And, you know, you got a dope David uh, Browers cover colored by Ben Granoff, um, you know, just a riff on the Wizard magazine. And back you know anybody that grew up in the early 90s you know you you are going to be familiar with wizard magazine that's what the cartoons kayfabe channel started out with going through wizard magazines and you know Eli and the group inspired by that they made their own you know own magazine and there's going to be a second one coming out i have a couple things in there super excited to be a part of it in terms of creating content not just editing and you know this is still in print. Definitely pick up a copy, man. There's fucking dope interview. Got some comics in here. I discovered a lot of a lot of the people that I've interviewed for the channel. You know, there's a ton of stuff. Dope fucking features, articles, and just, I mean, look at this stuff, man. It's, you know, it's got everything you would you would want in a wizard magazine. Ad for War Party from David Browers who, you know, I've interviewed for the channel, Dope Comics. Um, Eli killed it with his interviews. We got the kayfabe effect, which anybody that's familiar with that channel, you know what the kayfabe effect is. And that is any books they talk about instantly are going to jump in price on you on eBay and wherever. New York City, Outlaws, Faust, Big Numbers, um, Love and Rockets, Fireball, Doom, all this stuff, Dragon Chain. Uh, and still find a copy of these comics pick them up as soon as possible i personally when uh when they when they drop a video announce uh, and, and they're gonna go through a book i fucking immediately hit ebay first or i hit you know some other form of buying comics and make sure i pick it up before it goes too high and you know a lot of fucking cool stuff in here man and you know even tops it off at the back with an indie comic price guide we got an eclipse comics in list with all their fucking catalog uh really dope ending it with a wizard profile with jim mafood again you know fake ads everything this magazine has has so much awesome content i've gone through it multiple times let me flip to a specific page which will lead me into the last book image grand design a fake ad which you know everybody saw it and like man is this gonna happen are they gonna do it and guess what? It fucking happened. It happened in the fucking pandemic in the pandemic. There's so much to unpack here. This could be its own video. But I want everybody, I don't want to fucking spoil too much. I want you guys to pick it up. 
money goes to charity. It's not in print, but you can get that digital copy, man. Print yourself a copy. It's absolutely insane how much talent is in this book. So many people from the Ringside Seats group. Uh, you know, we got Chris Anderson. You know, he does stuff for heavy metal. We got Craig CK opening up the book. One of my homeboys, you know. And just Rocco Jerome. Everybody, I mean, like, I don't want to leave anybody out. But you all know what you guys did for this book. Anybody that was a part of it. I'll read this real quick, you know. We got Eli Schwab, Rocco Jerome, David Browers, Alan Greenwood, Anton Blake, Ben Granoff, Brian Up. Odie Amar, Chris Anderson, David Grom, Duff, Tor Torben, Iman Hill, Erwin Papa, Jeffrey Kay, J. Andrew World, James Smith, Jerome Cabantan, Matthew Birch, Mac Mike Wagoner, Christian Misi, Nathan Gritsey, Richard Rich, Rick Lopez, Ro Higashi, Russ Cassidy, Sam J. Royale, and Tom Kelly. And, you know, the call went out from Jim Rugg and Ed Piscor, and, dude, they did the work, man. They fucking transcribed the, the pitch that Ed Piscor and, and Jim were talking about, and they put together a cohesive story. I mean, Rick Lopez, man, super talented. You know, he fucking starts off with, like, you know, giving a little bit of the history, and it, from there, like, just like, look at this, the page of St. J. Royale. We got, the, we got just everything, dude. And Darkest Image, another ad. Is there going to be a book? You'll have to wait and see. But just full of cool stuff, man. All your favorite image characters are in here. They don't leave anybody out. It's just, I mean, look at this. Look at the level of talent that is in here. It's, it's next level stuff. This book easily could have been printed at Image. And fuck, man, I wish, I wish for the people that were, that created in this book that it could be seen by more eyes, but. You know, like, don't don't hesitate. Don't just hesitate because it's only digital. You can print yourself a copy. And I'm sure anybody in that group, reach out to some of these creators. They'll fucking steer you to the right place on how to get this printed. Um, and then, you know, I can't forget, dude, we got in the back, flip side, Image Grand Disaster. Uh, another fucking slew of awesome creators. You know, Mark Darden helped. We can edit this back. We got Schlepzig. You know, his fucking dope art, Tony McMillan. Tons of dope creators in here, too. Just awesome project, man. And Eli helped get this all together. He helped get it published. Or he published it, got it printed, packed hundreds of packages and sent those out to everybody. A man with many talents and uh, just constantly putting out dope content. Look at all this stuff. And, there, you know, there's more yet to come. And... Hope you guys fucking hit those links down below. Pick up some of this stuff. You know, we got some wizards at the shop I work at. I'll drop that link down below as well. Stay tuned for wizard issue two. Dropping soon. Hit up Live. Give him a follow. Support all the guys in the group. And, you know, if you're not already following us on the Comic Lounge, make sure you follow us. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at the Comic Lounge. Uh, make sure you hit the like, follow, subscribe button. And... Hit the bell icon so you're notified every time a new vid goes up. And on that note, I'm out.